So is Joe going to come anytime soon? He should be here any minute. Hey, sorry guys, I got stuck in traffic. Hopefully I didn't make you guys wait long. I mean, we're already playing and recording, but I guess this time you didn't just blow us off. Whoa there, Obama. I told you that I would only do that once. Joe, we specifically said that we would never talk about that moment. Okay. Oops, my bad. I don't know what the fuss is about, Barack. After all, this isn't even a surprise. I swear, Donald, if this is another joke about my wife. Joke? Barack, I think you need to start taking some of Joe's pills because you clearly don't know what's real or fake. Can you stop arguing for a bit? I'm trying to figure this puzzle out. Oh, great. Sleepy Joe is the one that got the controller. Come on, Donald. It's not like I'm that bad at the game. True, but don't change the suit. I kind of want to imagine that Spider-Man 4 wasn't canceled. That was a dark day for all Spider-Man fans. The most goaded Spider-Man acts just like that. If Sony didn't put their grubby little hands on Spider-Man 3, then I bet you my whole fortune. We would have had Toby on the Avengers. Shit makes me sad how they botched such a great film. If they hadn't added Venom to the movie and just made it about gotcha. Sandman, it would have been the best superhero Almost movie there. to date. Okay, no lie, this is one of the few times I, I actually agree with you. Sandman's story in Spider-Man 3 brought a damn tear to my eye, and that deleted scene just put it into perspective how amazing that movie could have been. Too bad Sony still hasn't learned their lesson. Just what the fuck are they cooking? In all honesty, the only quote-unquote good thing they had is Venom, but even that is pretty ass. The real travesty was Madam Web. That movie, if you can even call it that, is so bad that I have to know what they were smoking. The worst part is that they are also trying to ruin Tom's Spider-Man. Such an amazing character is about to be ruined by adding unnecessary bullshit. I wouldn't call Iron Boy Jr. an amazing character, but it's still sad that Sony is trying to ruin whatever good they had with Tom's Spider-Man. Holy shit, I just remembered they aren't done yet. Oh, are you talking about that weird-ass Craven the Hunter movie? Damn, I forgot that movie is happening. Not really happy that I was reminded that it existed. Trust me, Obama, if I could erase one thing from this world, it would be Sony's terrible universe that they created. I really hope that they don't ruin Into the Spider-Verse. I would legit nuke their whole studio if they touch my precious Gwen. Besides that weird comment for Gwen, I agree that if they ruin Spider-Verse, all hell would break loose. You know, why do the bad guys keep thinking that guns would work on Spider-Man? He is literally dodging the bullets in front of them. Uh, maybe it's one of those moments when you think that if you keep trying, it could actually work. But this is a seasoned Spider-Man. He's been at it for a couple of years by now. So the underworld should know not to use guns. Maybe it's all that brain trauma that we keep giving them. After all, they just keep breaking the law when there's a super-powered individual in the city. The worst part is that there's also super-villains just chilling in the city. Why would you want to commit a crime where you can get brain trauma or get murked by one of the supervillains for shits and giggles? You got to do what you got to do, Obama. I, for one, would make a hole in the wall and stick myself in it. Okay, instead of selling yourself, why not join a supervillain group? Only for my co-workers to snitch on me so they don't get every bone broken in their body? No, thank you. Wait, Spider-Man would never do that? That's until Spider-Man pulls up and doesn't quip. Or worse, he's wearing black. Hey, Plus, Spider-Man is not the only superhero. Daredevil will beat you to unconsciousness okay. and then have the nerve to tell you to talk. Ah, uh, yeah, there's never a moment where I could never want to skip this. Just those creepy thoughts to yourself? No one wants to hear about how you would want to bang Aunt May. Do you really think he can stay quiet, Obama? After all, we all know what he does to little kids. Come on, Donald, I just can't help it when I see a small kid. They're just so adorable that I can't help myself. Keep that to yourself, Joe. We don't want to hear about that. Why are we still watching this cutscene? Aren't we trying to figure out what Martin Lee is planning? Come on, Donald, it's just a small cutscene. That tells us nothing about Martin Lee and is completely irrelevant to what we want to know. Fine, Donald, we can continue on. Hold up, I remember this section. I think it's better to give me the controller, Joe. What? Barack, you said that you wouldn't spoil us? No, it's not that. This is a puzzle section, and frankly, I don't want to wait till the elections for you to finish. Come on, Barack, just give me a chance to prove to you that I can do this. Obama, you better not. Please, Obama, I swear that I won't say the N-word for a whole week. You shouldn't even be saying the N-word in general. Come on, Obama, I'll prove to you that I can do it. Fine, but if you need any help. Trust me, Barack, I won't need any help. 
Well, I'll just get started on my nap. Whoa. This is the folder MJ found at the auction house. This might help us figure out what Lee's planning next. Oh shit, that was close. It's what, where am I? Well, I'll be damned, you actually did it. I told you, Obama, that I could do it. Well, let's just see how much time you actually oh, took. Wait, you were recording my time? This is going to be good. Okay, let me see. Wait, you don't have to do that. What the? Come on, Obama, it can't be that bad. You took 18 hours, Joe, how can that not be bad? Jesus, how can someone be that stupid? Look, this puzzle was harder than it looks. I doubt it, Joe. But this is the last time you take on any puzzle. Oh, man. If only Martin knew that he was dealing with an incompetent Spider-Man. If I was the bad guy and Joe was Spider-Man, I would honestly feel bad. Martin, I would bad. lose a couple of times just so I can make him feel better about himself. Come on, I would lay the smack down on all the bad guys who stand on my way. I can at least see you beating like some low-level crooks. Unlike Donald, who would just die the moment he does any web swinging. At least I would be pulling some hot bitches with my powers while you're stuck spreading your ass wide open for Michael. Shut the fuck up, Donald. The moment you get locked up, you're going to be everyone's bitch. Amen. I'll just have someone bail me out. I doubt that, since your ass has to pay over half a million dollars to New York. I'm appealing that shit. Clearly, they had a biased judge. Say all you want, but this next election is going to be a sweep. You're right about that, Joe, so you better keep my seat warm for when I come back to the White House. Calling agent stationed in the... Oh, hi, doctor. How and just when I thought I had a good session, this fraud shows up. Donald, when will you admit that he is not a fraud? Some of his ideas are legitimately good. Too bad that those projects keep ending in failure. When will he learn that he can never match the raw intelligence of Norman? Norman hires other people to make scientific breakthroughs. When was the last time we heard Norman do anything besides antagonize the whole city? Be sure to run a diagnostic on the control unit. Could be a short. Okay, hand that over, Joe. Then when was the last time you heard Otto okay. do anything significant? About this circuit. To not be biased, both Norman and Otto haven't done much, and the only thing we have heard from Norman is from him doing his mayor duties, which haven't been received too well. That pretty much sums up the whole argument. None of them have done a whole lot as of recent, so maybe it's time to set this argument to rest? Not a chance. Well, it was worth a try. I'm gonna believe what happened. So you know that address you gave me? I went there. Uh, MJ. I know, I know. Guys, I have a really bad feeling about this. What is this? Just listen. Oh no, it's a Mary Jane part. Come on, I don't want to do this. Can someone please switch? Hell no, those sections are so incredibly boring. I would rather hear one of your speeches on repeat. Facts. Sorry, Joe, you have to suffer through another one of these things. For the love of everything holy, let this end. Even watching you play this section is making me grow tumors. How about we rank the best live-action Spider-Man love interest? Please, I need any form of distraction from this hell. All right, Mary Jane from Toby's Spider-Man. Bottom of the list. She literally hooks up with any guy she sees, and it's baffling how Peter just takes her every time. She belongs to the streets. Preach Obama, she... What was that sound? Crap! Hide behind those boxes. What do you think I'm doing? That's raps, Joe. There's absolutely no way you can escape that. Oh, thank God. Damn, you got lucky, Joe. I just hope this doesn't happen again. I heard something. Oh, come on. Yeah, I don't think you can escape this one. And I knocked over the boxes. No point in hiding now. Joe, please be more careful. I don't want to be stuck here for 18 hours. Let's just go back to the ranking. So what about Gwen from Andrew's Spider-Man? Anything is a step above from Toby's Mary Jane. Throughout the whole movie, she's supportive and stays loyal to Andrew. And she's actually helpful, unlike this Mary Jane, who's only a pain in the ass for Spider-Man. I say a solid B tier. But we all agree that Zendaya's Mary Jane is S tier. One of the few rare instances where the MCU does something right. She's funny, has great chemistry with Tom, and is not a hoe like Toby's MJ. Here we go. Finally, I made it through. This was so mentally tiring. I don't know if I want to continue on anymore. This MJ part killed my drive. Can't fault you there, Joe. This shit made me want to check in early with God. I'm going to go and just eat away my boredom. You guys want to join me? 
Let's go, Donald. Okay. We can finish this later. Count me in, too. Since I know you're going to anyway. Here.